Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is a good topic. So now we're going to get to multiple quantifiers, thing we left off last time. Before we do, we need to talk about these. Well, first, let's talk about sets, because we've kind of been dancing around sets. We've been flirting with sets. Let me give you guys a least definition we can at least deal with. So sets are, or a set, I should say, is a collection of elements. That's it. Just a collection of th things. Specifically, though, um, everything, and I mean everything, is either in or out of a set and that is all that matters specifically order is irrelevant chaos reigns supreme no Order is in, like, the way things are ordered. Um, uh, professor, I have a question. Yes. Do we have diagrams related to set, or it's just the writing? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We do have diagrams related to sets, and there's a whole set theory chapter we're going to deal with later. So I'm just going to give you the basics. But, yeah, so sets are always are always um, denoted with curly brackets. This will, this will help. This, and this will come back. So an example of a set is uh, one, two, three. All right, that's a set that just contains the elements. Got it. That, that just contains the elements one, two, and three, right? Or you can have the set uh, that is R, and that is a set of all the real numbers. Or you can have the set that's the set of you know, like all matrices with real numbered components. For those linear algebra cats out there, right? So these are just sets. Like whatever, whatever's in curly brace, it just tells you all of these things. It's the collection of items. Now, what I mean by everything is either in or out of the set, and that's all that matters. What I mean by that is a set, you can think of it as it is kind of like, imagine, this is gonna be weird, imagine everything. Like literally everything. Imagine every single goat, er, like, like every single goat, every single planet, every single number, every single matrix, every single possible human being that could ever exist. Like every, every, every single thing in the real world, in the humanity world, everything, right? Everything that we could possibly put a name to, right? A set is just, a collection of those where it just picks out these are the ones we care about. It's, it's just like kind of kind of partitions those and goes, these are ours. These are the ones we all care about. And so so importantly, what that means is that, for example, one, one, seven, six, two, two, six, five, or something like that, right? That set. Remember. A set, it just cares about every element being in or out. It has no concept of order, and it has no concept of um, if something's in it twice. It doesn't matter. So even though I have one written here twice, and I have six written here twice, it doesn't matter. All this means is this is the collection that represents, this, is the, this collection represents the thing that has a one in it, a seven in it, a six in it, a two in it, and a five in it. That's all. So this is the same as five, two, six, seven, one. Right? It doesn't matter. These sets are kind of describing the same thing. It's just the collection where these particular elements are in it. I just took the entire world of possible things and just picked these out. That's a set. Any questions? And after class, we can talk about set paradoxes all day long. I'd love to. But anyway, there's technically a couple of extra stipulations that matter to shore up some some uh giant holes in math but um that that'll, that, that that'll show up later that, that's not going to show up in our basic examples you have to do something really convoluted to break math in that way if i break math i mean actually break math i mean the axioms that we assume to be true lead to a, a statement being both true and false or should not happen but anyway 